So we just got this problem. This problem just came in across the desk. I haven't really even, I don't remember seeing this problem. Um, let's dig in and, and try to get through it. It says, according to a study done by Nick Wilson of Otago University in Wellington, the probability of randomly selected an individual will not cover his or her mouth when sneezing is 0 0.267. So it's <laughs> about 25% chance. Um, suppose you sit on a bench in a mall and observe people's habits as they sneeze. Complete parts A through C. So we're going to assume that that is indeed the probability of not covering your mouth. And now it says to use the binomial distribution, uh, what is the probability that among 12 randomly observed individuals, there's 12, so N is 12, exactly five do not cover their mouth when sneezing. And to me, um, this does remind me of, of uh, there's a lot of ways to approach this, but um, because it's a, a exactly five out of the 12, so our N is 12, our X is five, and our probability is, 0.267. This is set up for either um, stat crunch or the calculator. And so on our calculator, we'd go to the distribution menu. So second distribute. And then we would go all the way down to the bottom and go to binomial PDF. So there's two. Binomial PDF is when we have the exact value of x. Binomial CDF is when we have an at least or at most value for x. So they don't specify an exact amount out of 12. They may say fewer than 3, greater than 6, at least 5 out of the 10. Then we would turn to the binomial CDF. But this is more of an exact type of problem. Hit enter. Because I have on Stat Wizard under my mode, as you can see, it prompts me, uh, let's get that back. Um, it prompts me to enter in the values. So the trials are 12. Our probability was a little bit more than 25%. It's actually 267. So two thirds. Actually, not even two thirds. Um, <clears throat> 267. Our x value is exactly 5. And let's paste that onto the home screen. Now, if you don't have Stat Wizard, this is how you'd enter it in. Your trials is always the whole number. Probability is between 0 and 1. And then your x value. Okay, this is the probability we're trying to find. Exactly 5. Hit enter. We're getting 0.1222. Um, if you round it off to 4 decimal places. So the other one is using the uh, binomial distribution. What's the probability that among 12, um, same probability, same n value, but it says fewer than three do not cover their mouth. So that's two, one, or zero. <clears throat> fewer than three, so three is not included. And so probably what we're going to have to do is, now we could do binomial PDF of zero, plus binomial PDF of the 1, plus binomial PDF of 2, and add up all three of them. And in fact, that probably would work out really well for us. But there's even a faster way to go about doing this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate. Uh, <clears throat> no. Bring it back. Bring it. What just happened? Let's go. Uh, Let's do zero. No. All right, hold on. Here we go. Let's get that cleared. Now, second entry. And if... <clears throat> I almost... <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's actually solve the problem first. Um, We'll go down all the way down to binomial CDF. That's B. The trials is 12. The probability is 0.267.
and now we're looking for fewer than three. So the way binomial CDF works, it is the cumulative density function. You give it the value of x, and it counts all the way down to zero. So we want it to start at two, and it's going to sum up all of the, uh, the probabilities from zero, one, and two. It's pretty handy. And we get 0 0.3398. But if we were to round that off to four places, that's going to put us at 3340. So that's, that's what we needed to put there. The correct answer is 33. All right. Um, they would have accepted 40 for that, I'm pretty sure. And now here's the other one using the binomial distribution. Would you be surprised if, after observing 12 individuals, fewer than half covered their mouth when sneezing? Well, what would be the probability of fewer than half, right? Um, well, half is 6. So fewer than half would be from five down. Um, and so what, what we'd have to look at again is binomial CDF. We're going to recall that second entry, but this time put in five is fewer than half. We're getting 0 0.9275. Um, this is extremely high. If, um, if we subtract that value from one, this is the probability that it doesn't happen. Um, so fewer than half out of the 12 is very likely to happen. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's look at what, what that probability is coming in at. Let's see here. Okay, I, mis I misread the problem. Um, fewer than half covering their mouth. That means that um, more more than half covered their mouth. So uh, we, we misinterpreted the problem. It's actually six or more. So in other words, we need to subtract that probability from one. Um, and we're going to take it from Okay, wait, we could do this. We could do this a couple of ways. Uh, fewer, fewer than half covered their mouth when sneezing. Well, we do know the probability of them covering their uh, covering their mouth is one minus this number. Um, So let's see. Um, fewer than half covered their mouth. So that means, hold on. Few, fewer than half. Let's think about that for a second. Um, <clears throat> That means we have six, seven, eight, nine, or ten people that are up to twelve covered their mouth. So we're going to modify this probability. Let's move it up. Here it is. And let's modify this to be six. And we actually want to subtract that from 1. OK, so we got 0 0.0206 um, when you round that off. 
okay? Um, that is less than 5%, which means it is very surprising. Um, hopefully this helps. If not, um, we can we can do this a, another way. Um, and also, StatCrunch does have a binomial um, calculator. And let's go to where that would be. Yeah, that was a, a play on words there. Um, at the end, they asked, would you be surprised if they actually covered their mouth? So the problem was restated. Trying to get my stack crunch to load up. See if it's going to load or populate. If not, then uh, uh, we could we could probably demonstrate this in another way. All right. Well, we're going to end this video, but uh, let me know if you have any further questions. But um, what you would probably do is go, go into um, binomial and then calculator and then you will see you can enter in these values just like we did in our calculator. And it does do cumulative um, as well. So for parts B and C you need to use the binomial cumulative function there.